All right. So continuing from where we have left off in our last video, <coughs> in this part, we are going to add a new functionality of offering a way for the users to add comments to individual videos. We will tag individual video IDs. These are the um, YouTube video IDs. Uh, so against that we will attach comments because videos are something which we are not adding to our database right and then I will have a typical form where we will have a comment add input box text area and then the comments will follow below all right so let's get started um, I have PHP storm open up um, so the Vue.js components which we are going to do the comments so inside the YouTube folder why don't we add a new folder which is comments and inside that we will have three components okay um, let's just have comment dot view this is the individual comment um, then we will have a comment add dot view okay and we will have a wrapper which I typically do with most of my components this is where you know the entire data uh, will be available and this will be uh, responsible for sending the data to individual components okay so I have three Vue.js components in here. Um, for now, why don't we just have a template script tag and in here I will just add these two components, right? So I had a spelling mistake here so I'll just correct that okay so I'm just importing these two comment uh, components in here and then okay so these are the two components let me quickly do a basic template Um, that's done and then we need to add it to the video detail right this is where we will import it just the comment wrapper like so and we have created data so we'll have mm, okay that is a problem um, the spacing has gone for a toss I think my editor config file is missing that's why you know, it is behaving like this uh, I will fix that later but comment wrapper and so because I have defined this why don't we for now just have this is the eight column layout right video detail okay so I'll just push it here one more div right and I'll have okay um, is node watch running yes it is so I'll come back here refresh I need to go to the home page Mm. Hmm. Let's log out. Login. Okay. And now I have these two components getting loaded, right? So this part is done. Let us look at first creating our model and its migration. So PHP artisan make model with migration comment 
So let us quickly look at the migration file. Okay, so I have ID, timestamps, those two things are fine. I will have an unsigned integer user underscore ID basically to know who has posted the comment. I have the comment body. I will keep a boolean which is is published. Default will be one, but um, you know, it's like if the moderators want certain comments to be unpublished. Uh, something like that um, string video ID okay this is the um, you know place where I'm going to store this so like this is the video ID for this particular video right so I'm going to map according to that because you know we are not creating any video content you know these are YouTube videos which are not in our database so for the mapping we are going to use this okay so this is done we don't need to do much on the comment model just comment.php in here I'll just define a guarded property which is empty which means I can mass assign all those um, fields which are here okay um, so this is done now why don't we create two routes okay we will need one route to save a comment okay when the form is getting submitted and one route where if i pass the video id it will give me all the comments for that particular video id all right so i'll just close everything api.php okay now in here i'll create a group first of all okay in this i'll have a middleware auth api now this will mean i need to install passport and set up a few things which we are going to do in some time but right now i'll have route post let's say our url will be video slash comments okay i'm going to create a post url comment uh, controller at the rate index okay this is one route and the second one will be let's say comment comment controller store so we will obviously need to create this controller php artisan make controller comment controller get it here what are the two methods which we need to do one is index okay it will take the request object and we are going to validate Um, that the video ID is required okay because without that we are not going to uh, load any comment right so the video ID is required so I'll have comments equals comment where video underscore ID will be equal to dollar data video ID okay this is where I'll get the entire validated data. I will need to do an order by. Uh, I can do order by ID descending, which is fine, and then just do a get. Okay, I'll just load everything that is you know, related to that video for now. Um, return response. Oops. Um, what is that? Comments and. I'll say this is 200 so this uh, will take care of my you know fetching of comments based on a video ID but I still need to store it I'll have one more method which is store again I'll take the request object I hope this is eliminate HTTP request yes so that's fine um, again uh, similar thing I will run my validate method on the request object and what do I need? I need a body which should be required and let's say minimum should be three. Okay, you can keep it to as much as you want. Um, apart from video ID, I will all, I mean, sorry, body, I need the video ID. So another required field. Okay. Um, 
I think validation is fine. Now I'll need a, I'll create a comment. Comment. Create. Pass this array where I have body, which is dollar data, body. Uh, user ID which is auth user ID I'll get auth because if you remember I have this middleware where I have auth and API okay so um, the next thing is is published by default we will keep it to one so anyone who is publishing right now doesn't go for a moderation but it is visible if the admin you know uh, feels that there is something wrong with the comment then later on we can have a uh, flow where you know that thing can be unpublished and it will not be visible okay um, so there i think we need to change this query a bit because index should return me only the is published thing just a where clause but right now we are not doing it so let's keep it simple all right so i think we have what have we done we have you know created these three components which are just simple components they are loading here i know that it is working um then we have created the api we have the comment model the controller so i think this is getting um too much for a single video so in the next uh, video we will install passport because we are going to use the api so we'll need passport and then we will write our component codes thanks for watching guys if you like this series and this particular video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel